this question. So we just heard that uh, team, your teammate saying he was in tears after this. I mean, how, how bad does it hurt losing rivalry games or anyone that says that they all hurt? Yeah, um, you know, anytime you lose, it, it definitely hurts, um, especially in overtime, especially a rivalry game. Um, you know, everybody on the field fought for all 60 minutes and the entire overtime period. So. Just when you when you give it your all like that, and it doesn't doesn't pan out for you, it's tough. But you know we just gotta take it how it is. Come back next week and um, you know focus on winning every game. Did you feel like you personally rebounded after last week? Yeah, I definitely um, felt like I've had a better day today um, than last week. I think the offense you know, we moved the ball really well. Um, didn't really have too much of a lull. I think we felt like we moved the ball every drive. Um, just didn't finish. Uh, you know, uh, biggest thing got the points on the board. Last year, you guys had a kismet year where everything went right. You won the close games. You which of that first? Do you feel like maybe it's payback? No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think uh, you know we're going to be all right, and just from, from here, we we got to focus on you know the next week rather than you know what happened these past two weeks. And I think that um, we can definitely do that. Is that the one thing you remember you look back? You moved the ball 500 yards for a lot of us. You just didn't put in the point where you had a chance. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing was finishing, you know, even in overtime. Um, you know, when you get on offense first, you got to try to score a touchdown um, so that the other team doesn't have to just kick a field goal. Um, and yeah, the, at the end of those drives, I mean, we drove down to the opposite side of the field just about every time. And, uh, you know, just didn't finish. So we got to definitely come out and focus on it next week. Back to back Next weeks in overtime, I mean, there's so much build up for one game a week and for it to go down like a good two weeks in a row. What's the frustration level not happening? I think everyone's really frustrated. Um, you know, when we went over overtime, people were saying, you know, it's not going to happen two, two times in a row. You know, but it did. Um, I think we just got to, you know, press on and focus on the next week's drive and, you know, get down on ourselves about <clears throat> two really close games. I by no means one. Go ahead, go ahead. On the pick six, did you feel that the receiver um, was narrowing and yeah. they were more than that top of it, topped up and they could get it? Um, yeah, I actually. I got hit on that play, but I looked on the big screen afterwards. Um, Blue Light got to him and uh, went off the defender's shoulder, you know, up in the air. Um, I'm, I'm not the judge of whether or not it was early or not. Um, so theoretically, this is the defender, and he's like covering over the receiver, right? Yeah, it's definitely tight coverage for sure. You just watched the the, the film, quote unquote, of that play. You get, usually, you guys like to say, you like to look, look at the film. Do you think that you should have thrown that ball? Um, yeah, I think that. Um, you know, you just got to take for what it is. Hindsight's 2020. Um, you know, definitely would have happened if I threw it at his feet. But, you know, at the time, it looked like if I was able to get it to him and he could, you know, the defender was coming outside, so if he could just get it and turn up field, um, it could have been a big play. Uh, like I said, I mean, looking back on it now, seeing that that happened, obviously not. But um, at the time, I think it was a decent decision. I realize you got to be careful with this question, but when you get in the field goal position over and over again and come up with zero, that's got to be tough sitting on the sidelines and watching this kid's not going on. Yeah, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, we wouldn't be in those situations if, um, you know, as an offense, we could have been in the end zone. I think that uh, that just rests on those third downs. We just got to, you know, focus on converting so that, um, you know, you want you in the drive with a touchdown and an LPAT. Um, that didn't happen. You know, so there's definitely frustration there, but you know, I think that you know, special teams have been great in you know, the past few weeks, and um, we just got to put it on our, our shoulders that there's something that we could have done about that. It's not, not his fault. Definitely.